The state is 9th December, 9th December 2014. Uh, this is Jupiter's answer. Yeah, I'm sure your speaking test. Your speaking test mock number 201402. Okay. First of all, to help you feel easy, I'd like to ask you some common questions about yourself. Can you first tell me your full official name? Sure. My full official name is Mohammad Shahnawal Jiko. I designed my certificate and it's on my passport. Can you tell me, uh, can you tell me how I told you? Well, as my friends and family call me Jiko, so you can also call me back. Okay, Mr. Jiko. What sorts of things do you like to do when you are a child? Did you like to do when you were a child? Well, actually when I was a child at the time, uh, I like to do uh, different kinds of tasks. For example, whenever, um, mostly I like it is that uh, to play with my same friends and also to enjoy to enjoy the, uh, to enjoy the getting something who is generally uh, given by my parents and also my younger. What are some of the customs or cultural events in your country involving children? Well, to motivate the children and also to get uh, anchors to do something in the future. I think there are, uh, there are many kinds of uh, cultural functions that are generally arranged by their parents. For example, whenever I said generally, I grew up there to celebrate his birthday and in the best uh, generally family arrange the party. So I think these kinds of uh, Good. What are some of the uh, okay? Let's move on to the second topic, marriage. How did you to marriage change in your country over the last fifteen years? Yes, obviously I think uh, marriage history in my country has fully changed considering to the previous situation. Before uh, you can see that before actually early marriage was very available at that time. But now there's uh, because of increasing uh, the education system to all and all this has uh, created effects on the people to do that actually. Right. Then, what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of marriage? Well, actually marriage has both advantages and disadvantages. First of all, I like to tell something about advantages. Actually, uh, according to our religion, we are in the belief that uh, actually, marriage is very helpful for one's mind situation and also also for his helpful to his uh, his body. And there are also some disadvantages, like uh, for example, whenever they get married uh, after passing some years or some months, they they are generally mix with each other for some reasons. And also, in okay, what happens at weddings in your country? Well, people are uh, celebrating this occasion. Generally, uh, several kinds of uh, steps are taken by a family. For example, first of all, they would like to arrange a party or at any function to celebrate this uh, occasion. And also, there are several kinds of tasks are also done in this sector. For example, to feed, uh, to, uh, to arrange this for the all guests here, and also um, and also arrange a function including a musical event for this sector. Okay, what do you feel about divorce? Oh, actually, divorce is a fully disgusting one. Actually, I hate it. So, in that case, I think uh, every Muslim and not Muslim, actually, all the people should actually avoid this. Okay. Let's move on to second topic email. Do you use email a lot? Yes. Actually, in my most educational purposes, I have to uh, send my view to my uh, to my honorable teachers. As in most cases, he or uh, he may give some. This, in the case, I have to send it, uh, the, uh, send it to him by using email. Yeah. What are some of the advantages and disadvantages of email? Well, actually, you know that uh, by sending a mail uh, to uh, to each other, actually, it's a very serious case. So I think it's one kind of advantage. And the another disadvantage is that uh, whenever you are going to uh, send a mail to others, at that time it may hamper for the time being because of network, uh, network availability or any other reason. Okay, how has email changed business or study practices in the society? Well, actually, I think uh, whenever email has become more common in business sector, I think that communication of business capabilities also has become more common to all classes of people. You know that uh, before uh, before available in email, 
it was very difficult to communicate with each other with the short time. But in this case, I can, for example, I listen to my husband as in a foreign country, and also he wants to make communicate to the people of the Bangladeshi people. Without traveling each other, it was not possible in other times. But in this case, I think. Nowadays, as it said, become more common so, uh, by sending emails and they communicate with each other. Very good. So, how do you feel about advertisers using email? Well, I think it's one kind of uh, policy to promote their own materials. For example, whenever a business company generally launch any new products, to more popular these products to all the people, they generally uh, they generally give their advertisement of my sending my quality. Okay, thank you very much. Now I'm going to give you a card on the card, your final topic, and you'll also find some kind of questions. Based on that, you have to prepare the talk for one minute, and you have one minute time to take notes. Your topic is to describe something significant you have bought recently. Remember, you have one or two minutes to talk on the topic, so don't worry if I stop you in the middle. Ready? One, two, three. Would you like to start now? Sure. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to tell something about a uh, significant thing in your central life of some three assembly. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, in my life, I bought several kinds of uh, things uh, or devices. Now, I'm going to tell something amongst one of them. Actually, this thing is a cell phone, and it is called an Android bus, and actually, I bought it from the San Mar Ocean City, which is not very far from here. Mm -hmm. It takes only I put 10 minutes to my area, right in these places. Mm -hmm. Because of having some facilities, uh, for example, internal browsing and also the uh, speed, of, uh, 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 speed of browsing, and uh, that's why I consider to process this moment. It's, uh, it's not uh, too high much prices, it's only 50,000. So first of all, I did not know about the pros and cons of using this cell phone. One of my friends uh, informed me that actually nowadays it's a recent technology they had added on this mobile, so that's why he suggested me to buy these things. And also he told me that, yes, however, uh, I use this phone, I generally uh, get several kinds of facilities, including he told me that there are also some uh, special features are generally related to this phone. These are uh, actually this mobile is very important for many reasons. First of all, uh, actually it was my favorite color. So right. you know the red is my favorite color, so this okay. mobile phone also looks red. So that's why I like it very much. Okay. And the another one is that uh, uh, the the resolution of camera was so high, much so it right. So it was very nice. Thank you very yes. much. Uh, let's move on to to a discussion. First of all, we will have some discussion on shopping. How have shopping habits changed over the last 15 years in your country? Well, in the last 50 years, uh, shopping has changed in my country uh, randomly. Uh, previously, there was no uh, interest to people to buy something from a shopping mall mm -hmm. because at that time the uh, economic situation was not too developed. So, but now that says. Uh, as people are becoming educated everyday, so they get many opportunity to engage in doing several kinds of activities. In that case, wherever they are, their money, they want to also spend it uh, in this sector. So I think whether this helps that. Okay, how big an influence has the internet had on shopping habits in your country? Well. As per my opinion, nowadays, the uh, internet uh, has, a, has played a great role in the shopping sector. For example, because of providing some extra facilities, for example, whenever any, any person wants to buy something from the store, they don't, they don't need to go there. Instead of buying this thing from this any department, they can also uh, buy purchases purchase on, on, on the internet. The internet. So, so the people from this service come over you at the door of your house. So in the they want to show. So what are some of the dangers of shopping on the internet? Well, alongside uh, advantages, so the online shopping is uh, also has some disadvantages too. For example, whenever any person wants his credit card to buy something at a product for, for any online departmentalist to uh, sometimes it can be seen that uh, more than uh, more than purchasing prices are generally captured on this phone. Right. So I think it's one kind of disadvantages. Okay. Sometimes images. Yes. Uh, when you are selecting your product on the image looking at the image, 
and when the product comes to your house, you see it's completely different. Right? Based on. Okay. What is, uh, let's talk. How do you think shopping habits in your country will change in the next 10 years? Well, as the may believe, uh, in the next 20 years, uh, it will be changed rapidly. Right. For example, uh, nowadays you can see that. Uh, there are uh, some people who generally live in a rural area. Right. They don't show any interest to buy something on the online market. So I think in the future, these people will be more encouraged to uh, purchase their products on the online market. So they can save their digital costs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Travel costs. Okay, let's move on to the discussion on the credit card and debit cards. Why do you think there has been such a large increase in using credit and debit cards over the last 30 years? Well, I think there are many factors we have to regard. Uh, we have to regard because of increasing the using of credit cards and debit cards in nowadays. First of all, I would like to mention that uh, you know that there are uh, a lot of initial institutions are available in our country. So to to uh, invest to make invest of to make invest of all of them. So in the they, they, they give this kind of facilities according to the based on their income. For example, a person monthly income is uh, twenty thousand. Actually, these companies uh, makes provide them a credit card which is uh, which is partially covered is at least thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. so, uh, these people uh, then show uh, his getting mm -hmm. interest to buy something by using these cards. Right. So. How can using credit and debit cards be dangerous to an individual control of his or her finances? Well, I think uh, it has it is one kind of disadvantage as well. Because whenever a person generally, uh, according to uh, cost, he spends his money, I think he will not have to pay this kind of problem. Mm -hmm. Because of having this uh, opportunity, opportunity there buying is, capacity, buying capacity, more than his actual capacity, yeah. there is a tendency comes his mind that uh, uh, there are a lot of amount, although for the time being has mm -hmm. his hands, so he at any time he wants to buy something, make use of it. Yes. So uh, later on he has he had to pay this kind of all uh, uh, he had to pay all, all the amount at the initial company, uh, plus yeah. interest, and that can be very dangerous to control. Yes. Okay, how do you think the use of credit and debit cards will change over the next 20 years? Well, I think in many different ways in the user, the user rating system of credit cards and debit cards will be changed. For example, nowadays people only use, uh, only use debit cards only for their passing something on the online. But in the future, I think in every expenses, expenses, uh, sectors, including right. educational purpose, for food purpose, for dress purpose. Or also travel purpose. They are this 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 financial institution. They are provided those kinds of credit cards or debit cards. So they I, they will make some ag ag agreement with different food sectors, or food food businesses, travel businesses, dress businesses, and they will provide you say food card, travel card, dress card. You will you will use them and pay them later. Later on, you become a big risk. Okay. Yes. Last. What are some of the ways the individuals and the police can fight crime related to credit and debit cards? Well, actually nowadays it has become a common phenomenon in our country that uh, the hacker generally hack in the credit card and debit cards to get this kind of, uh, to get huge amount of money at a time. Right. So in that case, we all persons should be uh, should be creating awareness among people. And, uh, and individuals generally have to uh, play some rules. For example, whenever he uses a debit card, credit card, first he has to uh, secure, he has to remain to a secret position and also he has to uh, save his pin code or any password which will be essential for him. Mm -hmm. So uh, on the other hand, if I, to remove this, uh, to solve this problem, there's a life including crime factors. So in different police have also some important roles. To begin with, I would like to mention that actually, to provide more facilities to the to the people of this country, police force have to create and uh, and separate zone only for the controlling the financial purpose of this country's people. Okay, thank you very much. Your test is over.